Tomo News for Tuesday, April 10th. It won't appear again until 2030. In April, Jupiter will form a special triangle with two bright stars in the night sky, and it'll be visible with the naked eye if you know where to look. Writing in Space.com, Hayden Planetarium Astronomy Lecturer Joe Rao calls it the Jupiter Triangle. Jupiter forms a triangle with two bright stars that can be seen this month in the night sky starting around 11 p.m. Face east-southeast and you'll see a roughly isosceles triangle comprised of the star Arcturus and the binary system Spica, with Jupiter forming the brightest of the three points. The Arcturus-Jupiter and Arcturus-Spica sides of the triangle measure about 38 degrees in length, while the Jupiter-Spica side is about 30 degrees long. The triangle will narrow in shape throughout the month as Jupiter moves in the night sky towards Spica. The triangle will be visible until September when Spica disappears into the sunset. Jupiter will do the same in early November. The gas giant will not reappear in this part of the sky until 2030. If light pollution prevents you from seeing the Jupiter Triangle, there is a long, narrow triangle currently visible high in the western sky during the evening. Get naloxone, save a life. The U.S. is in the midst of a massive opioid epidemic, with tens of thousands of overdose deaths and millions more addicted to illicit drugs. It's gotten so bad, the Surgeon General has issued the first advisory in 13 years, urging more people to carry the overdose-reversing drug naloxone. During an overdose, synthetic drugs like heroin or fentanyl flood the brain and lock onto the opiate receptors, causing breathing to become dangerously slow. Naloxone can reverse the effects of an overdose and comes in two forms a nasal spray, and a syringe that should be injected into the muscles of the thigh, butt, or arms. The emergency medication works by knocking the opioids out of the receptors in the brain, blocking and temporarily reversing the effects for 30 to 90 minutes. Police officers and medical responders are among those who have been using naloxone to counter deadly ODs. The life-saving drug is also available at local pharmacies and local health departments. China put jamming equipment on its fake man-made islands. China is back to throwing more junk on their fake little piles of dirt in the South China Sea. According to U.S. officials, China has installed military jamming equipment on two of its Spratly Island outposts that can disrupt communications and radar systems. Satellite imagery taken by commercial satellite company Digital Globe shows a suspected jammer system with its antenna extended on Mischief Reef, one of China's seven artificial islands. According to U.S. intelligence, the new jamming equipment was installed within the last 90 days on Fiery Cross and Mischief Reef. Three of its man-made outposts, Fiery Cross, Mischief Reef, and Subai Reef, now have 10,000-foot runways, airplane hangars, ammunition depots, barracks, and deep water piers for ships. China claims sovereignty over all of the South China Sea. The problem is, Beijing seems to always be claiming things that don't belong to it. Guess his time isn't up yet. A construction worker is lucky to be alive after a giant crane collapsed and narrowly missed him at a construction site of a future police headquarters in St. Pete's, Florida. The dramatic event occurred last Thursday morning around 8.30 a.m. when the crane's load came crashing down followed by the crane's arm. Surveillance footage shows workers scrambling from the crane which landed just a few feet from one worker. Fortunately, police say no one was injured during the incident. The Tampa Bay Times reports that the Occupational Safety and Health Administration has opened an investigation into the incident. Israel may have dropped missiles on a Syrian air base. Israel is being accused of targeting a Syrian military base where Iranians were stationed. Russia's defense ministry claims the T-4 air base in Syria's Homs province was attacked early Monday by two Israeli F-15 warplanes. 
The aircraft reportedly approached from the Mediterranean Sea and fired eight missiles from Lebanese airspace. Syrian air defense system shot down five of the missiles. The remaining three hit the western part of the base, killing 14 people, most of whom were Iranian or members of Iran-backed groups. The missile raid came just hours after a deadly poison gas attack killed at least 40 people in a rebel-held stronghold near Damascus. Syrian media initially suspected the U.S. to be behind the airstrike, following threats by U.S. President Donald Trump to make the Syrian government pay for the poisoning. But the Pentagon has since denied any involvement.